So I have a really awesome trick to teach you guys when factoring trinomials. So this is a trinomial because it has three terms. So let's go ahead and factor this. It would be x plus 5, x plus 5. And so I just want to show you the pattern that happens when you factor it, and then it'll make it easier for you to do it next time. So this x squared is just broken by x and x. And then you're going to just make a triangle. Those two fives are going to be added, and then they're going to be multiplied. So 5 plus 5 should equal the middle number, which is 10. And then 5 times 5 is 25, should be equal that last number. So let me show you this again. So it's x squared plus 5x plus 6. That is factored down by x plus 3 and x plus 2. Okay, so again, the x squared is broken down by x and x. We're going to go ahead and make our triangle. We're going to add and then multiply those numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5, so that's the center number. And then 3 times 2 is 6, so that's the final number. Okay, so now we see how they're broken down when we have the answers. So let's see if we can now use that information and apply it to try to figure out what those numbers are if we're not given them or if we don't know what they are. So we're going to go ahead and factor this trinomial x squared plus 8 plus 12. So if you remember, it's always when you just have x squared, x and x, so we're halfway there. And then the 8 is going to be the two numbers added together, and the 12 are the two numbers multiplied against each other. So what two numbers multiply against each other to get 12, and those same numbers add to get 8? Well, you can do 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So because those numbers both work out, the answer is going to be plus 6 and plus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this again. Um, let's factor x squared plus 14 plus 40. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make our two parentheses. We're going to break down the x squared by x and x. Very simple. Then you remember two numbers need to add to get that a middle number, 14, and they need to multiply to get 40. So what two numbers multiply to get 40? But those same two numbers add to get 14. Okay, well, 10 times 4 is 40. 10 plus 4 is 14. So plus 10 plus 4 is our answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys one more. So I'm going to do x plus... Hmm. Okay. So I want you guys to take a moment and I want you to go ahead and factor that. Remember, the two numbers need to add to 8 and multiply to get 16. All right, so those two numbers multiply to get 16. They add to get 8. If you guess 4 and 4, you're correct. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 plus 4 is 8. It should be x plus 4, x plus 4. Remember, the trick is... Those two numbers are added and then multiplied. 4 plus 4 is the middle number. 4 times 4 is the last number. And the x squared broken down is just x and x. Let me know if this helped you guys and if this changes the way that you guys see trinomials for the rest of your life. Thank you now. All right, talk to you later. Bye.